Okay, well, where to begin with this now at this stage of uh, matters? Um, I had this machine standing over a long bank holiday weekend and um, <laughs> when I came back in to start working again this morning I'd convinced myself I'd left the crankcase drain plug out to uh, see what might accumulate in the drip tray but um, as it turned out <laughs> I'd actually screwed it back in on Friday so um, no wonder there was no leakage when I came in and looked underneath it so what I did today now is I've taken the crankcase drain plug out. I caught what was in the crankcase in this jug and measured it and there was 300cc of oil came out of the crankcase uh, which had sort of, well, either accumulated over the weekend and obviously when the engine runs, even if you drain the crankcase, if you run the engine, the oil pump will leave some behind in there once the engine starts working normally. And uh, with that in mind, what I did is I ran the engine after putting the drain plug back in, of course. I uh, ran it for about five minutes or so, got it warmed up, stopped it, and then took the drain plug out the crankcase again with the jug underneath and found that I only caught 200cc of oil. So um, that would suggest to me that 200cc of oil in the crankcase is probably about the norm for normal running conditions. That's about how much oil you'd expect to have. Uh, left in the crankcase when the engine's running and scavenging and whatever. Um, so the 300 would suggest that an extra 100 cc of oil got into the crankcase from the oil tank over the long weekend. So what I did is I had a look, I had this crankcase drain plug out and I could see occasional, about every 30 seconds, a drip of oil coming from that area. Now I've only just done this, but what I've decided to do, any oil going into the crankcase there must be going past the oil pump. So um, I happen to know that this here is a takeoff for measuring oil pressure at the end feed to the crankshaft after the oil pump, obviously. So what I've done is I've taken the little check bolt out and uh, as you can see there's oil there dripping out every so often there's a drip of oil and what I'm hoping to see is that now I've got this open and oil dripping from here perhaps in a little while it'll stop dripping from the crankcase because I want to try and prove to myself I'm hoping to prove that this oil here coming out here is what's been going through into the crankcase and collecting in the bottom if it is that will confirm it's getting past the oil pump. But if the dripping from the crankcase drain area continues, that might also suggest perhaps a gasket fault between the oil pump and the engine crankcase, something like that. But whatever oil is getting from the oil tank past the oil pump in one way or another, or maybe more than one way, and into the crankcase. And um, basically, that's what the owner would like me to try and sort out because uh, he was asking me if I'd strip the whole engine because he reckons when it stood for a long time there's oil leakage from the crankcase centre line. Well, I've had the engine running and it doesn't seem to sort of leak under normal running conditions. I've yet to go for a ride on this machine but that could be happening soon. But I think that if under normal running and riding conditions there's no leakage from the crankcase centre joint as such um, then it would be best to focus on the oil pump area and trying to stop this happening. I know there'll be people shouting, put an anti-wet something valve in it, put a tap in it and whatever. My own preference is not to do that and to just take crankcase drain plugs out and put trays underneath or whatever and uh, collect the oil and pour it back in as and when required. But I would not put an anti-wet something valve in this engine. Can you imagine? This is one of two running examples of this engine in the world. Can you imagine destroying it because there's a tap in the oil pipeline? Sorry, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> 